Hey everyone, welcome to Virtual Focus VBX. We are so excited that you guys are joining us here this week. We have a ton of things planned. As you can see, today is sports day. Who's your favorite sports team? I'm wearing my favorite sports team colors today. And if you are wearing yours, have a parent or guardian, take a picture and post it on social media with the hashtag VCVBX so you can earn points. If we earn 800 points by the end of the week, Miss Sarah is going to have to dye her hair a color that we get to vote on. And if we earn 1,500 points, Pastor Justin is going to get slimed again. It's going to be awesome. And if you didn't get to participate today, don't worry. We have tons of things planned throughout the entire week. Tomorrow is beach day. And don't forget about our week-long family competition the Glow in the Dark Family Dance Contest. I cannot wait to see some of those videos. I don't know about you guys, but I love to focus on new things. If I see something that I don't know much about, I like to focus on it and learn more about it. When I'm meeting new people, I really just like to focus on them so that way I can learn more about them. There are lots of things that we can see that can help us understand things that we can't see. If I go outside and I see a giant thundercloud forming in the sky covering up the sun, then I know that it's not probably the best time to jump in the pool or go outside and play football with my brother. If I look at the weather and I see that it's one million degrees out and I'm outside eating ice cream, then I know that I have to eat the ice cream soon or it's gonna turn into a giant puddle. Well, the way that we think about God is kind of the same way. When we focus on Him and His amazing plan for our lives, we can really get to see and understand more about God. I thought that we could kick today off by playing a little game. And the game's called Get Into Focus. So the way that this game works is we're going to show you guys a blurry picture. And once you figure out what it is, you yell out the answer. So we're going to go ahead and show you that first picture now. I don't know, it's a little blurry. Why don't we clear it up a little bit? That's right, it's a pair of glasses. Glasses can definitely help you focus and see things better. Let's take a look at the next picture. Still hard to see. I'm going to enhance this a little bit. That's right, it's a magnifying glass. Magnifying glass can help you see things that you otherwise wouldn't be able to see. Let's take a look at this next one. Hmm, oh no. We can focus in a little bit on this. <gasps> Binoculars. I have no idea what that one is. Hmm, I think I know what it is. A telescope. Oh no, what do you guys think it is? A microscope, microscopes can help us see things that are really small. Hmm, I don't know. Wow, contact lenses? I would never been able to guess that. Listen, we're gonna be playing games all week long and we're gonna be having a ton of fun. But now it's time for one of my favorite things in the entire world and it just so happens that it has to do with focusing on God and how great he is. So go ahead and stand up 
and get ready because we're going to sing and dance and tell God how much we love him. This is my face, this is my face, this is my focus. 
focus for all of my days I know where my hope is I'm living life Shut the chorus Because I know Oh, you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see To see I will trust in you I will believe Believe And even when it's hard for me to see To see I will trust in you I will believe And keep on looking 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 to you For where I'm going Knowing You go there too I'll keep on looking 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 to you I'll fix my I'll fix my eyes on you Okay, here we go. <gasps> it's bubbling! <gasps> it's alive! <laughs> oh, okay, you see us, right? But do you really? Because you aren't seeing us. They're not? Nope. So what are they seeing? Well, they're seeing the light off of a TV or a computer or projector screen. Right now, we're being recorded on a camera. Huh? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And you, and you. Hmm, oh. but does the camera even see us? I mean, all it's seeing is the light bouncing off our forms, right? Uh, watch this. Uh, okay, right now, we're in pitch black darkness. You might as well be watching a blank screen. We're here, you know we are because you can hear us, but who knows whether or not it's exactly as you remember. Because of light. <laughs> I'm Kyle, this right here is Samantha. Hi, guys. <laughs> and this is Wilson, and today we are taking a closer look at how we see things, or don't. Want to see something weird? Come on. Oh, 
Oh, what is that? Oh, I know that is an alien planet from a video game. Whatever it is, it's disgusting. I wouldn't say it's disgusting, Wilson. After all, you uh, have it on your face. What? Yeah. No, get it off! No, get it off! No, it's, get it off! Me too, Samantha, by the way. It's oh, I have a video game on my face. No, it's not an alien planet. Thank you, though. Thanks. No, see, we just have to take a closer look because this is actually this. Wait, you're saying that that image is just an eyelash? Yep, seen through a microscope. See, some things that we see every day look kind of gross and uh, freaky and foreign, you know? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I don't think mine look like that because those look icky. Okay, well, this is tiny. Want to see something huge? No, more than anything. Okay. So we're going to move from the microscope to the telescope. <gasps> oh, I've got one of those. Okay. <gasps> All right. <laughs> yes. This right here are the pillars of creation. They're these giant trunks of gas and dust. And some people think the gas and dust are out there making brand new stars. Whoa. Yeah, right? All of that space dust is just a combination of carbon and hydrogen. All the same things that make up you and me, but they're out there making brand new stars in the sky. So, so everything from um, the, the eyelashes on your face to these astronomical miracles 7,000 light years away are all part of the same components. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> amazing! <laughs> but wait, how far is 7,000 light years? 41 quadrillion miles. <gasps> Why? It's crazy, right? I mean, I guess. That's so cool! <laughs> no matter where we are or what we're doing, we're all just trying to take a closer look at the things around us, whether they be teeny tiny and can fit in the palm of our hand, or they're trillions and trillions of miles out there in space. So far away. It really is. Whether we're looking at it through a, a microscope or a telescope or binoculars or even glasses. We all just want to see the universe around us. Getting to see stuff like this is amazing. <laughs> it really is. I love how we were created to see things and how there are so many things created that allow us to see. But we're not done yet. We'll be back in a little bit and talk more about it. <laughs> Do we get to blow something up? Oh, that also sounds exciting! We can sure try! Oh, boom! <laughs> This is amazing! Can you see that? Oh, hey there. <laughs> my name's Kellen and that was my eyeball. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. <laughs> Woohoo! Ah, cool, right? Well, God gave us eyes to see and they're pretty impressive. The eye muscles are the fastest in the body, and while the eye is only an inch across and weighs less than a slice of bread, it has over two million working parts and can see millions of colors. Incredible, right? Our Bible story today is from the book of Romans and was written by a guy named the Apostle Paul. Now, Paul was not one of the original 12 disciples of Jesus, but he had a pretty amazing encounter with Jesus that changed his life. So amazing that Paul ended up writing several books in the New Testament more than any other person. And so in Romans, Paul writes this, Ever since the world was created, it has been possible to see the qualities of God that are not seen. I'm talking about his eternal power and about the fact he is God. Those things can be seen in what he has made, so people have no excuse for what they do. So what is Paul saying? He's saying look around. Look at this incredible world. See the incredible things in nature. The ocean. The mountains. How intricate a beautiful and single flower is. Hmm. Why are these things here? Well, Paul's saying it points to a God who created them. But God's creation doesn't just include nature. Look at your friends and your family. The people that you love and that love you. 
Where does that love come from? It comes from how you were created. And that fact also points to a God who loves us. Paul is simply saying, stop and take a closer look. And when you do, you'll see the evidence of a God who loves you and loves the world. If we really look for it, we'll be able to see the amazing things about God and the amazing things God is doing in our world. But here's something else I want to look at today. Even though Paul wrote this with only being able to use his eyes, today we're also going to use some tools to help us see things our eyes, by themselves, can't see. Let's take this telescope for example. Our eyes can only see so far, but when we look through a telescope and bring it into focus, we can see things further out in space. And some scientists have even used bigger and more powerful telescopes to see further and further into space. And here's the thing about space. It's huge! Let me show you what I've been able to see. So, here's us. But, here we are in our solar system. Yep, you see that tiny little blue dot? That's us. So that's our solar system. But our solar system is a tiny, tiny thing in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Now, where are we in our galaxy? You gotta figure we're right in the middle, right? Nope. Our solar system, all eight of our planets in the sun, is like a speck of sand right here. And you're thinking, well, that's got to be it, right? The galaxy's huge, so huge that I can't even wrap my head around it. But do you know how many more massive galaxies there are in the universe? Maybe a handful? Scientists now believe there are two trillion galaxies. When we look up at the stars, it lets us see the traits of a god who is bigger than our imagination. So, now that you and I are maybe feeling a little small, let me show you something else. I have a microscope here, and with super high-powered microscopes, we can see incredible detail of the smallest things. Our body is made up of all kinds of cells and some of the smallest things that can do incredible work that help us walk and talk, eat and think, digest our food, run around, climb trees, and each of those cells has its own job. Here. Take a look at this. All right, let's bring this into focus. All right, there we go. What do you guys think those are? I'll give you a hint. Everyone take a deep breath right now. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Those things are called alveoli. Our lungs are made up of tiny air sacs that take oxygen in and carbon dioxide out with every breath. Look how incredible they are. Do you know how many of them are in your lungs? Hundreds. Of millions. Every breath while you're running in gym class and every breath while you're sleeping. When you take a closer look with a microscope, we can see that even the smallest part of us is created with such detail and care. Our God is so vast, it's mind-boggling, but He also cares about the smallest thing inside each of you. But what else can we see in creation that points us to a God we can't see? Well, we read in Genesis, in the creation story, that humans were a part of creation. And it says that we were all created in the image of God. That includes me, and that includes you. That means a lot of things, but I think it means that since we were created in God's image, we too can point to God. I'll give you an example. If I saw a building on fire, that would be pretty scary, right? But do you know what else I could see if I took out this pair of binoculars? Whoa, I'd see people. I'd see the firefighters running to put out the fire. Maybe even going inside to save people. When we see people loving others more than themselves, it points to a God who created us to do some pretty amazing things. When we really focus, we have so many things around us that we can see and observe. And even though we can't physically see God, the things we can see point to a God that is here right now working in our lives. As we learn more and more about this world that God has created for us, we can be excited about how much care God gave the world. And that's a reminder that God loves me and God loves you. And that's some pretty good news. Well, I'll see you next time as 
we take a closer look. Oh, hey, welcome back to A Closer Look. Today, we are talking about something so... Yeah, yes, yes. I think I get it. Okay, what do you get? Why the show is called Closer Look. Oh, okay, okay. It's because we are taking a closer look at all the things we can see. Okay, yes, very close, very close, but not just the things we can see, also the things we can't. Like dangerous ultraviolet radiation. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, yeah, no, yeah, turn that off, turn that off. That's okay, yeah, but, uh, not quite that. But um, you know what? Hold on one second. I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, coming through. Uh, ooh, perfect. Okay, so obviously there's things we can see and we know that are there. But then there are things that we can't see, but we have instruments like, hold on to that for me, thank okay. you. Instruments like telescopes to, to see where they are. But then, can you plug this in for me? Thank you so much. Then there are things we can't see, but we know they are there. Like what? Like, uh, oh. I got it. This. That's the whole point of this show. Uh, we want you to take a closer look at things, even things we can't see. Even though we can't see some things, we can know they're there because of the things we can see. I mean, there's so many things around us we can't see, but they affect everything we do day to day. Like wind. Like atoms. Oxygen. Like ultraviolet radiation light. Right, Samantha? Right? What? Oh. Did you say something about dangerous autopilot integration? No. Okay! Then I can't hear you! All right, all right. Do you have an autoscope? Do I have a bar of soap? What, what's, an, what's an autoscope? It's a thing that doctors use to look into people's ears. I think Samantha here stood a little too close to that fan. Oh, yeah. I can't hear you too! I think I stood too close to the fan! I think so too. P probably, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Follow me. Oh, jeez! Yeah. <laughs> well, what about you? What are some cool things around you that you see? And what are some things you know that are real even though you can't see them? Have fun taking a closer look on your own and we'll see you next time on A Closer Look. Wow, um, I don't know about you, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to look at my tongue or teeth the same way again after that. Um, does anybody have any floss? Mm. Well, I guess I'll have to take care of that later. One thing that I know for sure is that when I see the things that God has created, it helps me trust him way more. You might be asking, well, why is that? It's because you can see that God cares about the tiniest details. Think about this. God is big enough to create our entire universe and he created a perfect, beautiful planet for us to live on. It has oxygen to breathe and water to drink. And it's not freezing cold or burning hot. If our planet was any closer to the sun at all or any further at all, we wouldn't be able to live here. And not one of us could ever do anything like that. Only God can do that. God made eagles and fireflies and duck-billed platypuses. 
Or is it platypi? Hmm. God made everything that we can see. And when we focus on that, when we remember that God created all those things, it will help us to remember that we can trust God no matter what. Remember, focus on what you can see. It will help you focus on God, the one who created everything, who is always there for you and always loves you. Here's a really fun question for you guys to think about. What is your favorite thing that God has created? Just think about it. You don't have to answer it yet. There's going to be a chance for you guys to talk about it with your friends later. I'm just saying though, when I'm petting a golden retriever puppy, it's kind of easy to remember that God loves me. Let us keep looking to Jesus. He is the one who started this journey of faith, and he is the one who completes the journey of faith. Wow, that is so awesome. Even when life is tough or confusing, all we have to do is focus on Jesus and remember that he did everything for us. Now, we are about to transition to our first ever virtual small groups. Your parent or guardian has an email that's going to take you guys to the link to your Zoom party. It's going to be awesome. Are you ready? Because our fun is just getting started. Join us now for our Zoom meeting small group parties. This is my faith, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see Keep on looking, looking, looking to you For where I'm going, knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, looking, looking to you I fix my eyes on you Keep on.